Is God a racist according to the Bible? Sound like it. Do the yeah. Revelation 7 and 60 say, For thou art a holy people. The Lord thy God has yeah. chosen thee, you Israelite, to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yasha Allah. I came into this truth bearing my soul like Paul to Damascus. Now I'm on the block wearing my robe to call on the masses to repent and turn back to the ways of the Most High. Federalis in the midst of us watching with close eyes Cause they know the power in this word For those dry bones, ages they infiltrate us But this is no fly Go ahead and get started Good morning everybody Good morning. Good morning. All right, Shabbat Shalom um, We can go ahead and um, we can open up with a word of prayer We can get started um, Everybody rise up Face the east Almighty Father, we come to you today. We ask forgiveness, Father, again for our sins. And ask, Father, that you edify this lesson and allow your Holy Spirit to be upon us. Thank you, Father, for another Shabbat. Thank you, Father, for all the love and kindness that you've shown us. And thank you for allowing us to make it here safely. Please, Father, be with our brothers and sisters that couldn't make it. And please, Father, help us all endure in these last days. In the name of your son, Yahweh Shai, so be it. So be it. All right. Um, last week we went over about the laws, the commandments, right? Um, still got some stuff we need to touch up on with the laws, but um, we'll have to go back over that. Today's lesson is the importance of prayer. You hear me? The importance of prayer. Why do we pray? How should we pray? What do we pray for? You know? Um, Let's start off with uh, let's, get straight to go. let's go to Psalms 145, 18. Let's start here. So Psalms 145, 18. You said one forty five, eighteen. Okay. Everybody done? That's Psalm 145, verses 18. is nigh unto all them that call upon him to all that call him in truth. Mm -hmm. In truth. So we brother. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, what is nigh? Um, close to. Close to. Yeah, close yeah. to. Yeah, I said not. Mm -hmm. So you have to be in truth when you call on the Father. Right? Now in today's world, Everybody seems to think that, you know, the Father is listening to them. You know? And this is a side note, we're going to it, you know, people. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, our Father is listening to the Hebrews. We're his people. He made that covenant with us. This is why he listens to us. This is why we had that connection with him. But at the same time, we have to come to him in truth, right? Can't come to him any kind of way that you feel like it. 
Let's go to uh, 1 John 5. What do you mean by anyway? How you feel about it? Like we was talking today in the car when we were, we were driving. You said about sinners, right? Think about it. Some people create sin. They, they do sin, meaning they transgress the law. And I'm just going to run to the Father. I know it's wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway. He's going to forgive me. See what I'm saying? Once you have knowledge of this stuff, he going to hold you accountable for it. Christianity tells you different. That's like saying, I'm going to cheat that person out of their money. But I know God going to forgive me, so I'm going to do it anyway. It don't work like that. You're going to get hold accountable for it. Christianity says you're just going to get forgiven. No matter what. Don't come as you are. Come on in. Right? And that's lawlessness. That's what Christianity teaches. Lawless, lawlessness. That's why they always tell you that the law is done away with. See? The laws wasn't given to the rest of the nations. The laws was given to the Israelites. Hmm. See? Um, that's uh, 1 John chapter 5, everybody. 1 John chapter 5, 14 and 15. John chapter 5, 14 through 15. Okay. <clears throat> and this is, oh, sorry, everybody has it. I'm about to. <clears throat> That's John, 1 John. 1 John. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. yep. You said what, chapter 5 through chapter 15? Five. Mm -hmm. Okay. 14 through 15. Okay. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Mm -hmm. Now, when you pray to him, you have to ask according to his will. You see what I'm saying? Not just some fairy tale stuff or in vanity, meaning, yo, man, I want me a nice car. If you already got a car, oh man, I, I just want a nice car. You asking for extra stuff, vanity. Ask according to his will. Keep going, brother. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Mm -hmm. If any man see his brother sin and sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was just 14, 15. That's fine. I'll well, do 15 on this time. Bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions mm -hmm. that we desire of him. Of him. Whatever you ask for, yes, he will give that to you. Make no mistake, he will give it to you. As long as you, truth, according to his will, he will give you what you ask for. Right? Mm -hmm. However, that's what I'm saying. I know, cause I'm, but, but I heard, because I was thinking, because I, I heard you say, whatever we ask, he will give it to us. But then he did back it up according to his will, because mm -hmm. we have learned um, to pray and ask for you know, things that we might desire. desire right. And um, he don't always give it to us because that's not his will for us. That's mm -hmm. true. So mm -hmm. we have to also know that. Mm -hmm. That's right. So yeah. very true. Mm -hmm. And then even in the midst of some of the things that we ask, we don't get it immediately. Mm -hmm. But according to his will, it's time uh, for us that maybe I asked for something last year and it came to pass this year mm -hmm. or a couple of years later. So mm -hmm. we have to always remember um, that we do have our confidences in him, knowing that he um, he's our hope, our hope alone. Mm -hmm. So meaning that he hears us. So once we give it to him, we have to know that because he is our hope. That's right. That's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's according mm -hmm. to his will. That's right. Um, <clears throat> It's real ironic. This is something I don't know when I was in jail while I was going. That's why y'all never saw But anyway, <clears throat> what we're talking about now is what I got from this. Mm. About vanity, uh, asking things and vanity. The word you came up with, you said, y'all, which means the positive things, all the positive nature. Truth means anything that is you need, not something that you just want. Okay, and before y'all came, we was talking, certain words bring these things to you, like desire, dreams, goal, attitude, mental process. 
objective, all of them put gifts off a of frequency. Because everything has power, and each one give off a frequency. If you use a certain word to ask for something within your prayer, you might not get it because you don't get on the right frequency. You won't be on that frequency. So you can take the time and not play with it. Deal with that with the word process to find out what causes and what brings you what you need. One, one thing um, about this, you said that he'll give you anything you want, basically? It has to be according to his will. <clears throat> what do you mean by his will? His will. Think about it. What is the Father's will? What, what, what does he want for you? Whatever he, whatever he wants me to do. What is it? Um, follow his commandment and read the Bible and preach it. Preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. So you think, okay, let's say you a soldier in his army, right? Mm -hmm. He know you need stuff. Now, you need to ask him for things that help you get your job done, right? right. Not asking for Jordan. I <laughs> 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 just, <laughs> you know. Not that he did it like that. <laughs> so wait, can I ask for like materialistic stuff? We just talk about that. Mm -hmm. He know you need stuff. He yeah. know you need clothing and shoes and things. Yeah. If you already got shoes on, yeah. like that Sirbot you took off to go get them shoes. <sighs> Think about that now. Mm -hmm. What was you telling your Heavenly Father then? That those shoes are mm -hmm. more important than what he was. Mm -hmm. You polluted the Sabbath when you did that. Yep, I know. See, and he gonna hold you accountable for that too. Mm-hmm. All right. I have an understanding of that. But you have to pray to what his will is. And also be obedient to his will. So if you know the truth, mm -hmm. it's not your way anymore. Mm -hmm. And basically, um, think about um, Psalm 23. It says, Yah, who is my shepherd? I should not want. He give you what you need, not what you want. He don't know what you need already before you ask for it. Therefore, he going to give you what you need, not what you want. That's what David said, Yah, who is my shepherd? I should not want. But you know that if he's his shepherd, he shouldn't need for nothing. Mm -hmm. So he said, I don't know, why would I want something? I need, so it's probably going to problem with everything you need at the time of point. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't ask for anything. Once we pray in his name and call his name and say, now who's with my shepherd? I should not want. We know he's our shepherd. He wants to supply all our needs. Okay. Not our wants. Okay. <clears throat> the supply class is, uh, you can look at it as, <clears throat> a mentorship and the whole class it mentors each other okay it's a thing called learning index or teachable index uh, what's your willingness to learn to adapt or uh, change to the will of the creator you have to have the will to change because when you don't change, you don't get what you want, then you get upset and frustrated, and you be frustrated because it's your, it's on you, it's not on y'all, it's on you, because you didn't change. Everything has to go through the change. You have to chop, when you say come in Christian, to say come as you are, okay, come as you are, but you still have to change, see, before you, and learn his will. His will is righteousness. See, if you're not practicing and acting for it in his righteousness, this is the truth. Once you do uh, research on the word righteous, you'll get a lot of attributes of righteousness. It might be 28 or 29 of them. <laughs> but anyway, you'll get all of them, and then you understand. You might look at the word take and look at the word in the wrong context, which you mean influence, manipulate, or whatever. And when they spoke about when you said, when they said, you uh, went to get some on the Shabbat and you spoiled the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that was because you hadn't had a thorough understanding of what truth means. Truth is a part of righteousness. That's why I say in truth. This is a mentorship. I'm being a mentor now, and then as I see, hear things, uh, uh, the whole class, uh, the whole congregation is mentoring 
to me, and it's an ongoing thing, it never stops. See, every time you see a brother, it, it holds it like it's like, say, if you write something, and it might take a thousand, ten thousand nerves mm -hmm. to transport to your brain. If you read it, it might take a thousand. If you hear it, it might take a hundred. If you see it, it might take five. So to write it down, you're using a whole lot of you to get it here and you get it better. If you read, the more you read, learning is comes through reading. Transform Making change, transformation. transformation changes come through reading. Mm -hmm. Not through going to some class and some class saying, oh Jesus, that's dictating. That's dictating to you. So you have to read, the more you read about these things. Hey, uh, we had, go back to the chart for a minute. Uh, ancient days, we had two famous libraries, Pofalini and one, and Philadelphia. Okay, these libraries were as big as the city of Tampa. That's all they had was black desk books to, to learn. One word might be three or four volumes and in depth so you can understand. And at some time you might see as it said, learn to think as the ancients did. We want to change and be like other people so we forgot to be like the ancients. That's why we in the rut that we in now. See? Okay, so just make the change. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's check out Matthew 7 and 9. Matthew yeah. 7 and 9. Yeah, Matthew chapter 7. Oh, yeah, it is right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew 7 and 9. Yeah, yeah. this is the one you're listening to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, one good question. Mm -hmm. That thing is the Shabbat. Um, can you go with that one scripture that one of my family members showed me? What's that? That one Matthew chapter 22, verse 36. Can you go, like, break that one down after the Shabbat? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, that's Matthew chapter 7, and we're going to start at verses 9 through 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or what? Or what man is there of you whom is his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Mm -hmm. Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him mm -hmm. everybody see that mm -hmm. right, that sank in deep that fish Can think about it. Break it down? yeah think about your father right yes he know you hungry right yes so he gonna give you a fish why would he give you something deadly that's gonna kill you or something bad he give you what you need you see what i'm saying you have to have faith in him you got to trust in him right mm -hmm. um Verse 11, it says, If you then believing e being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give, thing give good things to them that ask of him? You get that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it say, if they're being evil, you still have to get gifts to say? Mm -hmm. oh, I see. Oh. Right. No, no. Oh, oh. oh. We finished. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was saying, if you being evil, you have to give gifts to your children. I don't understand what you mean by that when you say evil. Unrighteousness. As parents, sometimes we're not always doing the right thing ourselves. Yes. So if we're not lining up with truth, and we're not in righteousness, well, then we are being evil. But yet, and still, when it comes to our children as parents, we still want to take care of them, try to give them, you know, what we consider is um, good gifts to them. Meaning that I may be uh, fornicating in my household, but yet and still, I'm not going to give my child something that's going to hurt them or teach them to touch things that's going to burn or, you know, do something to them. So I always try to teach them what's right, even though I'm not living according to the will of Yah. So that's, a, that's the evenness that's talking about. Yeah, for example, like a, a murder or killer, you don't know they're a murder or killer at all, but they take care of the home. Yeah. That's why it's hard to strike them down because they make sure their home's taking care of the kids, taking care of the kids, they go out and do evil stuff to the world. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. 
And so that's what he's talking about. Okay, but there's another one. <clears throat> you see the popes and all these guys in high places, mm -hmm. they don't do anything that the Knights Templars or the killers and the murderers yeah. or the people of the Pope. So his hands never do it. Yeah. See, he paid somebody else to do his dirt or uh, evilness for him, but it's still evil, ill regardless to him. Yeah. See, because his thought, it's the thought process that causes the evil. You mean paying, you talk about paying, the Pope paying somebody to kill him? Yes, they pay people to do things. So, to, so, so he even, so like that one football player that was paying people to, wait, was it him? Yeah, never mind. I was thinking about someone. Okay, well, that might be good as well. That's a good yeah, it's 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 I'm thinking about that one football it's player. The wide receiver that killed, uh, Pretty cool. Yeah. That's paying people to kill other people. That's why you gotta be aware of false prophets. Yeah, okay. Look at a, a, a good example on um, present. Yeah. Did you see him out there with a rifle shooting at people? No. Mm -hmm. He's, he's, he's right. sending, he's he's sending them soldiers out there. But it's still the same evil. Yeah. Okay, evil. Uh, let me see. Let me skip the book of uh, Joel. Which one? Joel. Uh, book of Joel. Chapter 3, it's the whole chapter 3 about how we were punished as Hebrews and everything that was done to us has to be done back. You hid your hand, they hid their hand and punished us, but the same punishment that they hid from is going to have to happen back. This is the same evil. That's what it's going to We have to ask for it in the end. Right. We have to ask for it in the end. The song uh, Johnny Cash. Um, he said, God's going to cut you down, and that's what he says. Okay, let me read one of these scriptures. Uh, Joel 3 6. I mean, 5 and 6. He said, Because you were taken by silver and my gold, and have carried into the temples my goodly, pleasant things, the children of Yehuda, the children of Jerusalem, have you sold unto the Grecians. You know who they were? Grecians? No. Black people in Africa. Mm -hmm. That we, they were the ones that looked just like us. That you talk about Hamites? Are they different? The Grecians. The Grecians. Those are the ones who took us to the ships. Mm -hmm. See? They sold us to the Grecians, and the Grecians sold us to the white man. Mm -hmm. See, and the white man, at the time, the Grecians, they couldn't handle them. They couldn't handle us, so they could use them. But it's the same thing as paying him to do his dirty work for him, his evil for him. That's the same evil. And then come the time when they did that, that might came back and got them. Yeah. Right. It's all in here. Right. That's why they, that whole country is getting tore up and good. Yeah. Down right right. Now. Yeah. Well, you mean Africa? Yeah. Every every country, that nation, should I say, every nation that had us in captivity, they got tore up. Right. Syria, right. Um, Israel, Egypt. You look at Egypt right now, Egypt ain't what it used to be. It's all tore up. Well, they got, well they do got those Arabic looking people over there. Yeah, yeah well, too. think about the, the original Israel, my gosh, brother. The original Mizraim people are not in Egypt. They went into slavery too. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? That's in scripture. That's mm -hmm. in, yeah, all that's in scripture. The original people are not over them. Mm -hmm. No, they don't have their land either. And that's what I try to tell Wait, you. Wait, do they even exist since they missed in probably with us? Yeah, they over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they over here. You, you know what's what's the saying? You know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Mm -hmm. They here. And that's why I always tell y'all in class that the spirit has to bear witness with the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You, you try spirit by the spirit, excuse me. You see, guarantee you have time. If they really from Israel, you try to preach this to them, mm -hmm. it's gonna come out. A true spirit will come out. Yeah, brother. No, I was just gonna say, uh, I think when we had this conversation mm -hmm. about uh, uh, the curses, if anybody's been checking the news lately, y'all see what's going on in Haiti? Who's Haiti? You mean Haiti? The country. Yeah, the oh. tribe of Levi. They're in war right now. There's a lot of um, 
rioting and stuff going on. You said the lead are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a lot happening right now. Uh, they were already in war with uh, Decennium because of um, they don't like each other, and they were at the, the, the uh, Haitians over there in um, Dominican were being hung in the courtyards and into the streets and everything like that. Okay, and they want them out of uh, Dominican and want them going back to Haiti. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because now we're seeing this whole thing about deportation and all this. And right now, um, Haiti is in a whole mess of war because of fuel resources. Evidently, uh, they're taking, I guess, fuel out of Haiti, just like they did in Brazil just about a while back. And it's caused so much riot. There's a lot going on right now. And amongst our own people, we are, we are killing each other. It is sick right now. So, you know, it's, it's a lot coming ahead, man. I just wanted to bring that out because I don't know if anybody's been paying attention to it. Mm. Um, all right. Let's get back on um, about the importance of prayer. Um, so we already established that we know you can only come to him in, in righteousness and truth, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's hit, um, and also don't forget about the point. Whatever He said whatever you ask for, as long as it's according to his will, you'll get it, right? Um, I'm say one thing for you yeah. When you say prayer, <clears throat> remember that prayer is every thought you make. If you're thinking of it all day, that's what you're praying for. It's not just when you say, okay, so and 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 so It's the thoughts that you make. You're thinking of it, you can't, you can't, everything is pictured in your mind and that's what comes to be attracted to you and to Yah, the, the thing that you hold on to the most are the things that you're going to get because that's what prayer is. Prayer is what you think. Think in, in order to think first, you have to you have to picture it. Words become pictures. If you say dog, you're going to see German Shepherd. You can say German Shepherd, and you see you can picture it. If you say double and pinching, you can picture it. If you use the word, so I say propensity. If you can't picture what a propensity is, then you can't have it. See, you you can't pray for it. It'd be no. Because, because you don't understand what the word meant. See? So remember that prayer is your constant thought. And if you fix a fixed state onto it, then that will be moving in your direction. It's a lot of times you don't get it because that's what, you don't understand the meaning of the word. And they don't teach that in school. Mm. Meditation. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I said, um, James chapter 1, verse 6. Verse 11 tie into verse 9 and 10. Well, let's go over it again. Then. Um, it says, But verse 11, verse 11. Yeah. But you said I tie it. No, he said tie it 9 and 10. Huh? Yeah, she wanted to know how 11 ties in. Yeah, 9 and 10 tie in with 11. What's she want? Yeah. And it's, it's real simple because he's saying in 9. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
are what man is there. So he's talking about us people, his 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 chosen. And then so when you hear that, he's he that's what he's talking about. So jump back down and nine, say, if then we the people, you as a person, if then eleven. Yeah, I'm jumping down to 11, because that's what he's saying. He, he already set it up if you as a person and nine and 10, right? So he's still talking about you as a person. So if then you as a person who uh, could give your son or your children, uh, you won't give them nothing to harm them if they ask you for something. Mm -hmm. So now he's saying, if you then bring evil and he's not saying, you bring it. He said, when he's saying bring evil, that means That's your right. actions, your behavior, right. your character, yeah. characteristics, they ain't always correct. Right. Right? So then he said, well, how much more shall your father, Yahuwah, right, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him. So he outdo anything and naturally we could do. That's what it's saying. I got, I got, I got enough, right? um, But if you go up to seven, right, because she may be asking this question also. You're right here on front. Yeah, yeah. But you go up to seven and say, ask, and it should be giving you. Now, you know, when we ask, we're not asking our father, right? Mm -hmm. We're asking him. So it's talking about us, asking him. Yes. If you're asking, it should be given. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it should be open unto you. Now he's saying you got to call on him and ask him, and he will give you, right? He said, oh, everyone that acts will receive it. He's saying that everyone that acts in him receive it. And he that speaketh find it, seeketh find it. And him that knocketh it should be open. So what he's saying that have faith that every time you ask him, he's gonna give you. He's talking about my father. And now, and now it's breaking down to you world of earth yes, and stuff. Yes. He says, Or oh, what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, would he give him a stone? So he what time I said that if a man yeah. you know how to treat you should could should Kids, good. Heavenly Father can do even better. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got it. So that's what all the breakdowns from talking about comparing our father good, giving good gifts and yes. a man. If a man can do good as kids, you know our father gonna do good for you. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. That's it. And then remember to him, to him, that's what we are as kids. Yeah. yeah. You know. And the sister said right when she said, um, uh, eleven. If ye then, being evil, know how to do good gifts to your kids, children, how much more see your father? Now bring it back to the Father again. Yes. So go back to him saying, trust in him that he will take care of you. If a man on the earth can take care of his kids, our Father can do better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Um, James 1 and 6. Mm, we were going to go to James. Let's go to Mark first. Mark uh, chapter um, 11. And then we'll go to James. So uh, Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mark chapter Mark twenty four, five, eleven, twenty four. Just say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with all ties in. Just say that. Yeah, we all ties in. Yeah. That's the circumference is to be thorough thing. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Ye shall have them. Now, you still got to have faith. Let's go back up 23. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. For verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. that whosoever shall be shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he hath has, he has said. Mm -hmm. said. So you got to have faith when you pray. Well, when you pray and you ask for it, don't doubt. You can't doubt. Now we go to James um Chapter one. Before you go to James, though, because 25 is so important. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when ye stand praying, praying, forgive if ye have aught against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. 
That is very important. Mm -hmm. 26. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespass. Right? Yes. It's true. Can't forgive those who trespass against us. Now, here's a deeper meaning of that, too, mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm getting understanding from. But I'll bring it out in another class. Because a certain way, Christianity takes stuff and twists. But, like I said, we'll bring it out in another class. Okay. That's your job. Yeah, let's stone you. Um, let's go to uh, James chapter, um, chapter 1. All right. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 through 9. But let him ask in faith, not nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of of the God. Mm -hmm. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can't be double-minded. So yep. What do you mean by double-minded? Tossed about, back and forth. Oh. Uh, yeah. I thought it means like one way this way and the next few minutes you this way over here. So it's like trying me trying to do two religions at once, like trying to be a Hebrew and try to be on Muslim at the same time. <laughs> That's one yeah. way. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, so it was this one dude that did it, you know on top of it, but this one dude that did it, now he's a spiritual duck guy. Yeah. But you can't serve two masters. Mm -hmm. yeah. you can't serve two masters. Mm -hmm. We it, it was a guy one time he tried to combine um Muslim and the Bible. <laughs> How did it work out for him? Well, that's to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be continued. Mm -hmm. You can't serve two masters. Yeah, so I could combine Star Wars religion to this. Hmm? I could combine Star Wars religion to this. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, it is a religion called Star Wars. I never really don't want to do it. Yeah. No. Like I said, you can't be double-minded. Especially right. when, you, when you pray. You know what you want. You know, ask according to his will. Mm. You know. um, let's go to, um, so we did Mark. Let's go to John um, 15, 16. Try to keep this in order. John uh, 15, 16. That's St. John, everybody. I feel bad. That's uh, St. John chapter 14 and um, 13. 14 to 9? Mm -hmm. That's good. Up a little bit. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this is 14. I want 14. My bad. Mm -hmm. Keep going then. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort that he. Oh, oh, 13, bro. 14 by 13. John, John 14? St. John 14. 14, oh, 13. Yeah, I changed up because I, I got my scripture. So. You said, oh, you said 14, uh, yeah, 14, 13. Yeah, 14, 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I crossed my scriptures up. I'm sorry about that. Bye. 14. Mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. 16. 14, 13. Mm -hmm. 13. Oh, you want me to read it? Right. St. John chapter 14, verse 13. Wait. Not bad. 14. Not bad. St. John 14. Go uh, John I'm 14. at 14. Go verse 13. Okay, 13. Okay, here we go. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Oh, so I 
with me? I'm still going around <laughs> trying to get your vibe together. All right. And if, if, you, if you keep reading it, it say, if you said I seen that thing in 14, mm -hmm. and my name, my name, mm -hmm. I would do it. I would do it. But, but mm -hmm. if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. You can't skip. You live by commandments. Oh, wow. You can all this stuff and you keep no commandments. Wow. Very important. Okay. Very good. Let's go to um, Psalm 23. I'll just get a pencil. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's really, really important. Mm -hmm. Now we go to uh, well, which one called uh, St. John 15, 16. St. John, mm -hmm. 14, 15? 15, 15, 16. 15, 16, 15, 16. Yeah. Here's your pen, you right? You need it? No. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I was just going to write that one chapter down. Here you go. What chapter again? St. John. 15, 16. Are we still in St. John? Yeah. yeah. Okay. not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand that? Any questions? So whatever you ask him, you ask him his Father, he gonna give you. See that? But the thing is, it's order to this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can't be out of order. You got to constantly be in order, right? So, if I ask for anything, so if I ask for for something, he give it to me basically. You know, basically, in there, he say he gonna give it to you. Right. You can't doubt though. You can't be double minded. Your mind got to be solid. Mm -hmm. right. Just also realize too, this is um like uh, real serious um. He keep asking for his name. Mm -hmm. He has a name. He keep asking for his name. That's why this scripture is crying out to us to correct his name. That's right. What's well, his name say? His, his true name. Not the name the world gave him. He keep asking for his name. You saw his name here, do it. Therefore, he has a true name. And we know the Lord God is a title. Now we on that. Now we on that. But what I'm saying, but now since you know it, we cannot go back because now he's asking for a name. You know they put the Lord God in the Bible, Jesus Christ in the Bible. Now in the scripture alone, that they did go out, still asking for a name. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? That's power now. He didn't ask for his name. The scripture alone. He just said it earlier. You mm -hmm. You're going to ask right. So you ask right. You ask yeah. right by his name. Right. Right. My name. people should know me by my name. Right. Mm -hmm. So you got to yeah, ask you something. Ask ask that. Question and power. That mm -hmm. goes back to that uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and uh, instead of wisdom of Solomon. Proverbs, Proverbs 34. Proverbs 34, he asks what's my son name. We're so saying having those words all day. Yeah. talking about the word. You're doing yeah. it righteously. Yeah. We're talking about that word there. Yeah. Excuse me. You see, that's why um, we have to understand that when they say, uh, like, when Jesus, there is no power in that name, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that I believe we really got to understand because when we go out here and we tell somebody there's no power in the name of Jesus, it's going to shock them. And it's going to be like, oh, you don't believe. And then when you tell them your real name, that's where the confusion, which opens the door to bringing them out. Because we've been, we've been uh, right. on that name for so long, you know. And we know that his name is what? Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Yahushua. We know that. You know? So we should really tell people. Um, let's go. Let's hit Matthew um, six and six, right? Matthew uh, six verses six. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, verse, verse 5. Mm -hmm. And when thou prayest, thou shalt 
will not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. Right there. Before we move on. When you pray, most people that see you talking the Bible, a lot of people, they be praying to get what, what they call props. Oh, that's a holy man right man. there. They just want to be my called, man. you know, I'm a man of God. What I'm, this is not a game. Mm -hmm. You're not doing this to satisfy men. You see? You're not doing this to satisfy men. That's what people, they do now. They, the, our ancestors did it in the Bible. You know, the wicked ones, of course. They did it. And then you have the people out here that they call themselves going to church and all that. You see somebody talking about walking around and they praying in front of everybody just to say, oh, I'm holy. They saying they're getting a reward right there. Right? Mm -hmm. Wait, so like that, what is um, that's six, 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 and five. Uh, six and verse five. So, oh, okay. so like that one man, that one Asian dude, how about he fast forty days and forty yeah, nights? Perfect. 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 That's perfect. that's that's perfect, perfect example. Yeah. But like on that video yeah. we went out there, he was glorifying I'm himself. I'm I'm yeah, that he cast out demons. He's bragging on mm -hmm. himself. He's mm -hmm. not giving mm -hmm. praise to the Father. Yeah. So yeah. what he did. Mm -hmm. But did he fast forty days and forty nights? No. No. <laughs> Look, I was going to bring that up too because he also, not only did he um, brag about Where fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, and what he was with, doing was any and everybody who walked past, he asked, what? can he pray for yeah. them? And while he was asking, can he pray? He had somebody on the side recording all oh, the prayers right. and everything that he was doing. It's so like a show code. Right? scene of men. Yeah. 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 That's like when uh, when y'all was out there talking, that the girl was out there. Um, videotaping y'all and then in the end of all that all all that it came out was y'all yeah. go back to Israel and we'll save your people. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. You know, come on man. Yeah. But, yeah. but you know they're gonna edit all that. My sister came up, she had made great points. She said, Why ain't that hospital? Mm -hmm. Exactly. If you really want to test what you can do, yeah. uh, people that's really sick, go touch them before you're gonna go to mercy. Man. But you want to come where everybody walking to go buy something. Got a big old bunch of carrying stuff. They help it. Right. Right. He was praying about resurrecting yeah. people and everything. Yeah. You're not even understanding what the scriptures meant yeah. about that. So that's, that's it's marketing. It's, yeah. it's, it's marketing. sad. It's sad, but that is marketing. That's what really messes me up because I hate that so much. They sit up there on those corners, and that's what gets you to stop is if you have groceries. The groceries are the anchors so that when they go, oh, oh, they say you don't went shopping. They have a reason to stop you. And once they stop you, that's when they start talking to you about uh, hey, do you know that your 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 Lord Jesus Christ loves you such and such and blah blah blah? You know, I don't know. I'm sorry. Every time mm -hmm. that video know? just really messed me up. It <laughs> really messed me. Mm -hmm. uh, hit verse six, bro. That that'll go from verse two. That'll go from verse two. Even even the thing says, keep it in your arms. Do not sound the trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets, and that they may have glory of men. You know, they worship by men, and then mm -hmm. it says, "Really, I say unto you, they have the reward." Mm -hmm. So he says, "But but when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right, right. hand doeth." Mm -hmm. So that means you ain't got to be telling everything. It's between you secret. He yeah, comes and says that right. that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret himself, mm -hmm. shall re reward thee openly. He was talking about what we're going through now in this twenty-first century. That's uh cameras and everything. Yeah. Every time somebody do something good. They do what? I want everybody to see this. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Which one, brother? So, uh, verse 6. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet. Mm -hmm. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seest in secret, shall reward thee openly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Matthew 2. Oh, Matthew 6. 6. 6. 5. 6. Mm -hmm. uh, five, through, mm -hmm. 5 through 6. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to showboat this. Don't showboat this. We mean like showboat. Just like we're just showing. Going out there. Let's say you know you're Israelite, you got your fringes on, and the minute you go down there, you got your hands up in front of everybody praying all out and open just so somebody can see you. And you got your friend with your camera looking at you. You know, playing games. But I think you're supposed to be preaching the gospel, so technically you are preaching the gospel when you do stuff like that in a way. That's not preaching the gospel. Well, Okay. okay, I have some real emphasis with the so-called legal de facto system. <clears throat> By me knowing a lot of things about mental control or whatever, okay? Once you connect to the frequency of Yah, and you know who you are, the power of it works for you. 
everything in the universe is connected to a certain frequency. And whatever frequency you're on, that's your power. That's the, that's, that's the resonation of your power. What you know is your power. What you don't know, you can't use it. Okay? Like the brother said, don't be out doing so and so and so. Oh, okay. Now, I had a case in the court, and I wanted to prove to him that I can manipulate the whole court system into my favor because I got the power. Okay? I wrote it, and I passed it to the bailiff so that you can know and Mm -hmm. It didn't work. Then, two years later, it worked. And it works all the time when you do it in righteousness. If you do it showboating, I was showboating. I, I was trying to show somebody, okay, I'm the Hebrew. I'm Yahweh. I'm, I'm, I'm so and so and so and so. And I got the power. And they got to submit to me. They got to do it. Okay, but he said, don't show out. Then mm -hmm. how are you supposed to preach the gospel? Don't, that's still that showing out. Openly, just be calm, confident, poor, serene, and sincere. Just stay calm, confident, poor, serene, and sincere. Just be calm, confident, poor, all the time. Well, basically, they're about the spirit. Of you. Yeah. Knowing that you and are a good person. Calm. So, even if you got a camera, whatever you got, your heart, you know your heart, your intention, what you want to do. A lot of times, what you do may end up help somebody else another way. Like you said, it didn't work then, but it was. It, wor it works. It, it works. It was it for that ladder. That ladder on, he said it was going to work. So as long as you know your heart, what your intention to do. See, at the time, my heart was my heart was vain. It, it, it was in vain. It was, I was trying to show out mm -hmm. that I got power, that like some magician doing some magic. See, well, like, just literally. like just like the pharaohs in Egypt, one. Uh, uh, Moses throw the uh, Pharaoh throw down one, and Pharaoh throw that Pharaoh uh, the Moses Moshe throw down a snake, and his snake ate the Pharaoh's snake up. Yep. See, okay, that's what happened to me. Okay, they throw down something, but they was they were wrong. But by me showing out, see, I didn't have no power. You didn't get the blessing. I didn't get the blessing. I had no power. Right. See, I just went to jail for some crazy stuff, and. I just sat back, I didn't talk to anybody. I said, man, the last time I came, I said, I got an issue, I got to get, get, get rid of. Uh, I didn't know how I was going to get out, but I kept the power mm -hmm. and the faith, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing. And then one day somebody just said, came here, you go and leave. See, that was, that was, I didn't show up. Mm -hmm. But every time I show up, you know, every time you have a, a hard issue with anything, that's because you're doing something out of order. Not you per se, like I know. meet with anybody else. So wait, it's like, so it's me basically going to a church and trying to preach, preach it out like, I'm a Hebrew, I'm a yeah, Hebrew, that's, that's out of order. Yeah. Yeah, that's out of order. Yeah. <coughs> so walk home. That's like a Dalai Lama or somebody. Uh, so, what, so what about those camps that be preaching out loud, yelling and stuff? Well, they are preaching, but are they what you call it? Are okay. I think you got a different. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah but what, what happens like, like, for example? Like for example, you you come and tell somebody, um, you sorry, right? Like, you say I'm sorry for doing this to you. If I know your heart already, that you really sorry. If you go and say I'm sorry for they got they got some money coming tomorrow, he know that you are not doing it out of faithful from your heart. You're doing it because you gonna think you need a reward or something from men. So you don't do it for a reward of men. You do it for a reward from my father. You don't care. Like sometimes, for example, he said, when you do your offering, do it in secret. This is not when you got your money. You say, oh, I got a thousand dollars. You let everybody see. You want everybody to see. Now you're doing so for everybody to see. You get your award from man. But now when you're really doing his will, you ball it up. You say, are you going to sort it all? You wait, you do it in secret. And his will be open. So that's what I also preach. And when you go from the heart to spread his word, and you say, yeah, you can say you're Israelite because you're spreading the word that we're Israelite. You're going to tell the truth from your heart. You're doing it right. Mm -hmm. But now you're going to just say, we Israelite, we do dress good, we love this and that, whatever. Now you're doing it according to men and please men, you're not doing it for y'all. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's according to your faith, according to how you really, really, if you're faithfully doing it to please y'all, or you're faithfully doing it to please yourself and men. That's everything we do. We got faith to do it according to him, not ourselves and men. Yeah, I was just going to say that's basically what should, we should look at when we look at the Bible, period. We should always be thinking, 
Yeah. It's all about him. Mm -hmm. It's not about us at all. Yeah, not at all. And everything it's should be about him. Mm -hmm. Not even that, and not even that, um, you gotta even think, just like in Colossians 3.12, and it say, you, you gotta always remember being in this walk. We can't be puffed up on knowledge. We gotta be in humble and meekness. That's how we gotta roll, but it says, this it says, put on then as y'all's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate, hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Yes. And everything that you endure, you go through, you have to always seek humbleness in your head first. You have to think, patience, how am I gonna be able to approach this? Mm -hmm. You know, from his standpoint, not my really fleshly standpoint. So you'll be able to overcome them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, I was just going to say, when you really think about uh, verse 5 here, um, and how he was talking about how they be in the synagogues and praying on the corners of the streets, do you know that that's what they do in Jerusalem? They have that prayer wall, and they go line up by that prayer wall, and they do that that, that little rocking thing or whatever they be doing. But that's exactly what that, that reminds me of. That right there. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Revelation 3.20 says, Is that out? What did you Revelation 320. Yeah, what, what, what was the scripture? Revelation 320. Yes, sir. That's a word you Revelation 320. Okay. We go, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Okay, my next thing is. The word sup, which means supplication. Mm -hmm. When you say with humbleness and all of this, mm -hmm. then you get to do it with humbleness and supplication. And we're going to, like we do, we supp we supplement now, mm -hmm. supplying the right. mm -hmm. information so that you can know how to handle it in a situation that you come in contact with. You know, that's a word called predelicate, meaning I'm ready for whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for it when it comes. You got to be ready for it when it get there and not wait till it's there. See? So the Revelation 320 okay. covers that too. You also can go to 21. Excuse okay. me. And then, just like I just spoke about, it says, To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in, in my throne, even as I also overcame. It says, And am set down with my father in his throne. And that's so, a change. That's how you're going to be able to approach him. That's that change that you have to make to overcome. Once you overcome, you made a change. Because you can't sit there unless you make that change to overcome. Uh, uh, question. I can't. Uh, what does it mean here by uh, you at 22? You at? Uh, Revelations. Uh, saying, yeah, Revelations uh, verse, verse 22. He, okay. It says, He that uh, have an ear, let him uh, hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Churches, what is the churches? Is he, I know he's not talking about a building. The physical, no, no. physically you. Okay. You, you yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to 2 7. He says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Right. So it's many. It's me and many. Okay. It's me and many. To so him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, okay, which is in the midst that. of the, the paradise of Yah. So because when you say churches, you know, Christianity hit up on church. Yeah, that's the deception. Yeah. That's the yeah. deception. Yeah. Right. Because that's, he says that he dwells within us and near mm -hmm. the temple. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's a big deception. deception. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't want to understand the scripture. Can you maybe break it down a little bit more? So, so church understand. in the Bible does mean, mean. No, just the, the 21, the 22. Mm -hmm. I see me a little bit more for that. That's what you're sure about that. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, come. I have this a little bit. Overcome is a compound word. It's two words. Mm -hmm. Over and then come. Cometh. Cometh. See? Something that's coming to you or something that's granted to you in order to get to it, you have to step over something else. Let's say, for instance, let's go back to Abraham. Before he became who he was, he had to make a change. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's overcoming. He had to step over. His wife had to make a change from one to another. Mm -hmm. So they had to make a change. The Jacob had to make a change 
before he was became Israel. Everything has to make a change so that's overcoming. You understand? You understand? Yeah. Let's keep okay. that like you got brought it down, brother. Wait, 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 wait brother Vince here. Go ahead, brother. So. Well, I was just going to say uh, what it sounded like to me with the churches is, you know, like it says in the Bible, anytime there's two or more gathered in my name. Yeah. Yeah. So. Amen. That's right. Yeah, because I, that, that you, just you. makes me mad about how churches, you know, uh, Christianity does that. Whenever it says church, that's their way of proving that, oh, he went to church. Oh, he had a church, or he spoke in church. You see what I'm saying? And that's what brings them to their foundation of why there is these churches and how is this okay? Yeah. yeah. But, but I would say the spirit is the angel over the church, because there's angels over the church that speak to us. Like, right yes. now, we have an angel in this room. Yes. But when the angel speaks to the Holy Spirit to the Lord, like, um, the Soviet, um, Revelation 3, and the Jubilees, too. And the Jubilees, too. Mm -hmm. Revelation, um, they, um, 318 said unto the angel of the church. So therefore there's an angel of the church that speaks to us. The rough of the Holy Spirit that you know that's a head over the church. Can we go to the people? Okay. Uh <clears throat> well you know they got that called 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 out assembly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh go back to twenty.